Welcome to Anywhere Simplify SAP Create It Now series. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create a ME22N change purchase order line item text automation script utilizing Process Runner's GUI scripting technology. Inawera recommends utilizing the BAPI technology of Process Runner to create and change purchase orders with long text, as it is more efficient and faster than the GUI scripting technology. However, if the user does not have authorization to execute BAPIs, GUI scripting can be used as an alternative. Here in this Excel spreadsheet is a list of purchase order line items we want to change the text for. The script we will create can also be used to add text for these line items and their fields, which currently don't have any text. Let's begin by opening up Process Runner Enterprise and double clicking New GUI Script. Here in the new process pop-up window, in the transaction code box, let's enter ME22N. Now we will click on start and use new SAP GUI session, or if we have a GUI session already open, we could click on this refresh, get GUI session, and we could select an open GUI session. Let's press the start recording button and log into the appropriate SAP system in our SAP landscape. We will begin by maximizing our SAP GUI. From the drop down here, let's select Other Purchase Order and enter our first purchase order number and then press Other Document. If we have previously been in our SAP GUI, our header, item, and or item detail menus may have been collapsed. So we are going to push F2 F3, and F4 on our keyboards to make sure they are expanded each time our script is run. We don't want to expand these by pushing these buttons because if they were previously expanded before the execution of our script, recording the pushing of these buttons will cause our automation script to collapse these menus when the script executes. Now from the tabs under our item menu, let's select text. And from here, let's select set filter. Item is pre-selected, so we just need to push this left directional arrow to set the filter criteria to item. At this point, we are going to walk through several steps, which our automation script will repeat for each of our line items when we set up a looping process. So it may seem we are doing some unnecessary steps for this first line item. However, later when the automation script walks through these same steps for other line items, it will enable our script to execute without erroring out for these other line items. Now let's push this filters button for determine values for filter criteria and enter the line item 10 and push enter. Now we will select line item 10 under item and click on choose PO item. Now we need to select item text even though it is already selected and then enter some sample text. Next, select Info Record PO Text and enter sample text here as well. Do the same for Material PO Text. And Delivery Text. and info record text. Now we will click on item text once more to make sure our info record text is uploaded. Now let's push the set filter button. This is the point at which our looping process will end. So we will push the cancel button and then push save. Now that the purchase order has been changed, we can go back to Process Runner and click Stop Recording. In the Mapper ribbon of Process Runner, 
Let's select Use External Excel File to link the recording to our desired data set. Here in the advanced view of Process Runner, let's verify our mapping. We have our purchase order coming from column A. Our item number is coming from column B. So we can change this description if we like to make it easier for us to recognize. We can also change each of these shell descriptions as well to match the descriptions in our Excel file, or we can just leave them as they are as the descriptions do not affect the execution of the script. Now we just need to implement looping so our automation script will be able to process these multiple line items. We need to find the point where we clicked on the second line items filter button to start our loop. Just above this Determine Values for Filter Criteria screen, let's select Start Loop from this drop down. We will select No from this pop up because we do not want our loop to start from a screen as is normally done in looping with Process Runner. Also, we need to make sure our end loop is placed just before this Define Filter Criteria screen. This is the point at which, if we were doing this transaction manually, we would click on the second line item's filter button and enter a second line item number. Let's select the end loop row, right click on our mouse, and delete this end loop row. Next, we will select this push button row and from the screen name drop-down, select End Loop. For our block type, we will go with the default setting, On Value, Ignore Blank, Column A. This means that looping will begin when a value in Column A is encountered, Process Runner will ignore blank spaces, and then stop the loop when it encounters another value in Column A. Let's go to the Home ribbon now and set our Start Row and End Row. We could execute the script from here, but let's go back to the Mapper ribbon so we can see the SAP messaging right to Excel. We will close out of our open SAP GUI session, which we used during the script recording, so our purchase order won't be locked when our automation script executes. Let's press the Run button, and after saving our script to a location on our hard drive or network, we can execute the script. We will bring up our SAP GUI and watch it as the script executes. Let's bring up Excel and our SAP GUI to verify that our first purchase order has been successfully updated with the new text. First, we will look at the updated text for line item 10.
And now line item 30. We have successfully created an ME22N automation script to upload and or change text for line items and purchase orders utilizing the GUI scripting technology of Process Runner. Thanks for watching this video. And if you'd like to learn more about Inawera products, please visit us at inawera.com and be on the lookout for more videos in this series.